All right, so this video here, we're going to find the equation of a quadratic function when we're given the vertex and a point on the parabola. All right, so here, when we look at this, we have the vertex and we have the point. Well, we know that the function of a quadratic, it's either f of x is a and then parentheses x minus h squared plus k or it can be in this form ax squared plus bx plus c all right well to work this problem the easiest thing to do is use this form of the function so we won't use this one, okay? All right, so we know that for the vertex, this is H and the three is K. So there's my H and my K, all right? Now, let's look at the point. Well, what is the point saying? Well, the point says that if I take this x value, plug it in for x, and evaluate it, I should get 9 as an answer. Okay, Because that's how you get your y value. You take your x value, plug it in for x, and that gives you your y coordinate. So what this says is that if I find f of 2, then that, once I plug the 2 in, I should get 9 as an answer. Okay, so basically what we're going to do, we're going to plug the 2 in for x, the negative 5 in for h, and the 3 in for k. And so my only variable will be a, and then I'll be able to solve for it. So let's go ahead and do that. So I have f of 2 is equal to a, we don't know what that is, and in the place of, of x, I'm going to put a 2 minus negative 5. Well, minus negative 5, a minus and a minus, that's plus, okay, and that's squared, plus, and then I put the 3 in for k, that's 3, and that should equal 9. Okay, I hope you see where I got the plus. See, if, if I plug this, if I plug the negative 5 in, I'm sorry, yeah, if I plug the negative 5 in for h and the 2 in for x, that's 2 minus, and then for h I'm putting in a negative 5. The minus and the minus, that gives me my plus. Okay, all right, so now if you look at this, I have a nice little equation to solve. Okay, So here I have 2 plus 5 is 7 and then 7 squared is 49. So I've got 49a plus 3 equals 9. Okay, And then I solve for a so I subtract 3 to both sides. That's 49a equals 6. Divide both sides by 40. 9, I get A is 6 over 49. So that's A. So now, when we plug this back in, my final answer, I'm going to get F of X is equal to 6 over 49 times X is our variable. And then when I plug the negative 5 in for h, that's minus a negative 5, so that will be plus 5 squared, and then plus k, so plus 3. And this would be your quadratic function. And if you wanted to put it in the other form, uh, f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, well, you can do that easy. Well, we know that x plus 5 squared is the same thing as x plus 5 times x plus 5. 
and if so if I fold that out let me do a different color to put it in the other form so that's f of x is equal to 6 over 49 times and then if I fold that that's x squared plus 10x plus 25 plus 3 okay. and then I would just distribute so f of x is equal to 6 over 49 x squared plus 60 over 49 x plus and then let's see 25 times 6 so that would give me 150 over 49 plus 3 and so f of x would be 6 over 49 x squared plus 60 over 49 x plus and then 150 plus 3 well that would be 150 over 49 plus 3 so I would have to get a common denominator so 49 times 3 that's 147 and then add that to 150 that would be 297 over 49 so 297 over 49 yeah I mean this one was kinda messy with all the fractions and everything but you know this answer is correct this answer is correct just depending on what form you need to have it in so hope that helped uh, uh, give me a like subscribe and uh, check out my other videos and thanks for watching